Hello? Uh, so I have made a board uh, consisting of a CPLD uh, for the purpose of uh, learning the hardware description languages uh, very old or VHDL. And uh, for this purpose, if we want to make some counters or stopwatch or something, we need to divide the clock to several hertz. For example, uh, in this case, uh, this is already a very low frequency oscillator was writing at 32.768 kilohertz but to make the one hertz clock it requires a 15 bit 15 stage flip flop and that uh, will consume a lot of a limited size of a macro cell of the CPLD and uh, if we make a bit more lower frequency uh, oscillators uh, we can avoid the cons consumption of a macro cell. And uh, for this purpose, I made a crystal oscillator. Uh, here you can see a crystal and uh, this consisting of oscillators. And uh, this chip is a very famous one, 4040, 74HE4040, consisting of a, a 12 stage flip flop and that can divide it by two powers fifth uh, twelves and that naturally uh, provide the eight hertz and uh, now let's see how it works i already connected to the tiny oscilloscope and now i switch on i hope you see the frequency is very low it's eight hertz of course we can make uh, low frequency oscillator by uh, easily by using the 555 or RC oscillators, but those are very uh, unstable, is not reliable. If we want to make some, for example, the clock application by using the CPLD, we cannot use uh, such an unstable one. But in this case, this 8 Hz is very accurate because it generated by the crystal. I guess uh, this crystal made by a Japanese company, Shizun or Seiko. And uh, in addition to the 8 Hz, I make another output here will produce a 16 Hz. Here we'll see the 32 Hz. Yeah. And here we will see the 64, uh, 128. And here we will see 256. Now I need the time scale to see. Yeah, to five six hertz. Uh, I don't know why or uh, no uh, company making such a low frequency because uh, in some purposes a uh, very low but uh, very accurate uh, crystal oscillator is very useful. And uh, this time I made this type of uh, one. Have fun.